What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews and I'm back again with another video. This time it's going to be an unboxing video. You guys requested I do some more unboxing videos so I'm giving y'all what you want. As you can see we got some Jordans in here. Black box. White jump man. I'm going to take it out see what we got. So right here Jordan 6 rings. Size 10. Uh, colorway wolf gray. Black gray. Powder blue. And y'all see the rest right there. I don't know what the rest of that is. These retail for $160. I picked them up for only $144. Bought them online. If you know where to shop, man, you guys can get a good price on some uh, legit shoes. So we're going to open this up. See the paper if you guys care about the paper. These rings consist of parts made from the Jordan 6, 7s, 8s, the 11s, 12s, 13s, and 14s. Here they go right here, man. I think these is fire. I'm going to take them out the box. already tried them on and everything like that. That's why the laces is undone. I didn't lace them up, though. I just tried them on real quick. The blue and the pods, these is all from the 13s. I actually got the 13s on my feet right now, so you can see a little comparison. So, yeah, these came from the 13s, so you guys can see the comparison on that. I think this is pretty dope. This is from the uh, the Jordan 8. The Jordan 8s. And I have the 8s right here as well. So I can show you guys a comparison of that. Um, here go the 8s. So if you guys can see the, the design pattern from the 8s. And these rings right here. Matches right here, right there. The strap that's right here. This also comes from these Jordan 8s. So you can see they got they both have the strap. It says Air Jordan on it. The fuzzy tongue from the eights as well. That tongue right there comes from these right here. So you can see them both together. If I get the strap out the way, you can see it. You see that right there? Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't have the sixes, but this uh the little pull tab there has come from the sixes. We got the Jumpman, Jumpman right here from the 14s. I do not have those as well. Has the 2-3 uh, down the tongue. It's also on the rings. The little lace lock here. But the reason I like these rings, I was going to cop the uh, the breads, the original black and, uh, black and red rings. The ones that had the patent leather on them. When they came out, I decided not to get them. Didn't want them anymore. And instead, I picked up the... Uh, the other six rings, I got the winterized six rings, so you can see the similarities. Same shoe, one's just for the winter. They pretty much have everything the same. Same back on on the tabs. These just don't have the uh, the little uh, Velcro strap there. It doesn't have that on these ones. But as you can see, the design is the same. From the 11s there, same things from the 11s. Bottoms look a little... You know, the pods from the 13s, kind of the same. It's just a little different on the bottom. I think these are hot shoes. There's no fuzzy tab up here. But it does have the 2-3 uh, down the middle. That elephant print is just fire. The print on them. It's fire, yo. The tab, just everything about the shoe is just dope to me. I had to pick them up. Had to. Check these out, and I really think I had to get them because, like, the, the 13s is, like, my all-time favorite shoe. Before I knew anything about release dates, I've, I've always been into shoes. Always been into shoes. Never knew why I was never able to find a pair of 13s, though, until, you know, I started finding out information. Like, oh, this is a popular shoe. I never knew. I just thought it was cool. So I started looking into it more. But before I got my first pair of uh, 13s, which is these ones right here that I got on. I got, you know, the other little ones right here. These is the uh, the Viz Comfort 13s. Got these from like the little outlets or whatever, you know. Always buy what you like, man. Don't, don't ever let nobody uh, make y'all feel bad about getting some certain type of shoe. If you like a certain brand, you get that brand. If you shop at a certain spot, you shop there. Get what you like, man. I've always been into shoes, but it's just now I've... Uh, you know, caught on to these release dates and the popular shoes. So now I shop at different places, but I still go to the Nike outlet. But I like these, though, because these have the pods from the 13s. These is from the breads right here, the top part. Looks like it's 3M, but it's not. I already tested it out, but it looked good on camera, though. But, yeah, 
these was like my first little, uh, as close as I can get to the 13s at first, so I was able to cop a pair. Y'all need to start shopping at the right spots. It's all right to shop online. It's all right to wait in line sometimes every now and then. I waited in a long ass line to get some 13s. I got these 8s like a week after release because I didn't even want them. Till uh, my girlfriend at the time, she copped a pair. Made me feel like I had to go get some too. So I was able to cop them a week after release, you know. So some shoes, some shoes you might luck out on. Other ones you might get lucky and be able to cop them. Just like these. Story about these, man. I tried these things on when I was out of town in California. And uh, I, I tried them on. I was going everywhere. Only one store had them. And I wear size 10 and a half. I got these in the 10. That's another thing. You guys want to go down half a size. Please go down half a size or they will not fit. These 13s I got on my feet right now, these are 10 and a half. That is my real shoe size. But these are a bit big. And I wish I would have gotten a 10. I wish I would have known. But uh, I'm still rocking them. But you guys can see it might start causing crease uh, issues right there. So I got these in, got these right here in a size 10. And they fit perfectly. But anyways, back to the story. I, uh... I tried them on in a 10, but before I caught on, I was like, yo, you, you guys only have a 10. That's all they had at the time. I wanted to try a 10 and a half, so I didn't buy them. I tried them on. They kind of fit, though, but I was being picky. He said, nah, I'm going to wait till I can try a 10 and 10 and a half so I can see which one feels better. And while I'm talking, I'm just go around and chill. But yeah, anyway, so I was thinking, okay, I'm always able to get easy pickups in Vegas. So as soon as I get back, I'm going to just go to the malls in Vegas. Went to the malls out here. Nobody had them. Everybody talking about they sold out. Everybody sold out of the shoe. So I was pretty upset that I had the shoe on my foot, ready for purchase, passed up on it, and everything was sold out. But I ended up finding them online, though. Real legit. Found them online for only $144. Free shipping. Still got the uh, stuff inside. See, size 10 there. Oh, I don't know if I showed y'all that too. The little insole from here. Or the, the cushioning on the inside of the shoe. But yeah, I'm going to add some pictures to this video, you guys. You know, if you if you shop at the right spot, you can get some good deals. Try try Marshalls. Try Ross. Try the, uh, the outlets, wherever you at, man. Try the outlets in your town, dog. You can get some good deals. I just saw some shoes that retail is... Uh, Retail was how much? 130. It wasn't a colorway that I would buy, but retail was 130. They had them at Ross for only 40 bucks, yo. 40 bucks. Then when I went to the mall, I seen the same shoe, different colorway, on sale for a hundred bucks. So man, you know what I'm saying? Cause I've always been in the shoes, but now now I'm catching up on these retros and everything. It's on now, man. Alright, here they go. A look at the powder blue six rings. On feet. Bought it this morning, drive it like I stole it. Park it left and running like I really don't want it. We've been building corners, bent like, bent like elbows. Been, been, anywhere that cash go. Bought it this morning, drive it like I stole it. Park it left and running like I really don't want it. We've been building corners, bent like, bent like elbows. Been, been, anywhere that cash go. Checking my mirror for them suckers. Coast clear, turn up that music, light another this, that Mink coat flow, I wrote this in the summer Poolside high school, you motherfucker To the rules, we abide by on this side Members only like the jacket I grew up among some criminals Check their jackets, known for action with them ratchets While I was just cooling, writing raps, eating snacks and shit Look, y'all be trying to tell y'all about these prices, man Came to Marshalls, elites that are normally 18 bucks everywhere, $5 These football elites, red Got the LeBron elites. Seven bucks. Normally sixteen. Look at this. If y'all niggas don't start shopping at the right spot, I'm telling you. Look, now I'm at sheet. Same exact pair I just got. Eighteen bucks. Shop around, y'all shop around. I'm telling y'all, easy cops out here. Still got them. Still on the wall. Easy cops. Everything. Last one, man. Well, that's fire out of here, too. Fire. Wow. Same wow. pair that I caught wow. a long ass time ago. I got mine from the outlet store, but they still got them in the store. 60.
The Viz Comfort 13s. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. No, that would never happen. Come on, okay? 